life to all who will turn from their sins and trust in Him personally. By placing your faith in Jesus Christ, you can enter into a relationship with the Creator of the universe that will last forever. This is His free gift and desire for you. To God alone, who does such great wonders, be glory, thanksgiving, and honor forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, bless His holy, His wonderful name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, for His love will forever remain. Your Creator is worthy of praise, your sustainer is poured out His grace, He poured out His mercy on those who would fear Him, He poured out His love, His forgiveness. Of sin, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless His holy, His wonderful name. Sing to Him a new tune, sing to Him from the deep of your soul. God has made the universe so vast. The energy that we have on Earth is only one billionth of the amount of energy that's coming from the sun. Everybody has been struck by the awesome beauty of lightning and storm and, and, and the smell of the fresh air. These tiny little birds have a metabolic rate that just is almost unimaginable. When the monarch butterfly changes from a caterpillar to a chrysalis to a butterfly, there are two completely different designs here. Seeds are masterpieces of micro-miniaturization. As you look at DNA, it actually cries out. In the beginning, God created the universe.
there is no evidence that a planetary system could have come about by mechanical means. However, the more that scientists began to look at the amazing universe that they inhabited, they began to realize that there were certain factors that were simply very, very fine-tuned for the existence of man, of molecules, of organic life. And the more they looked, the more they realized that we are, in effect, on really quite a knife edge. And there are many, many indications that this universe has been very specially designed and man is at the very center of it. If we try to model the universe as we know it, as we try to build a mathematical model that reflects what we know, we quickly discover there are thousands of parameters and ratios that if you adjust them even a little bit, life is impossible. We quickly discover that the Earth was a little closer, a little further from the sun. It's either too warm or too cold. If it turns at a little different speed, if the masses are a little different, it would hold too much or too little atmosphere. As you start trying to model this, you quickly discover that all the parameters involve an incredibly delicate balance and so they call this the anthropic principle, meaning it's as if everything we know was skillfully designed or balanced for man. The Earth is at a very specific distance from the Sun, and they have calculated that if we were only 5% closer, the water would boil off from the oceans. If we were just 1% further away, then the oceans would freeze. And that gives you just some idea of what sort of a knife edge we are on. The surface gravity of the Earth is exactly where it needs to be. More, you have too much atmospheric pressure, less you don't have an atmosphere. Uh, the thickness of the crust is critical, the rotation period of the Earth, the gravitational interaction between the moon, strangely enough, has to be, is all these contribute to what makes life possible. And so they call that the anthropic principle, which collectively is an overwhelming argument for a designer. Scientists don't like to acknowledge that because a designer implies accountability. There are many infallible proofs that demonstrate that the Bible alone is the Word of God. And if the Bible is true, we would be wise to heed its warning of hell and seek its promise of heaven. Do you know which destination awaits you? Most believe heaven. When questioned, nearly everyone proclaims their own goodness. Lori, would you consider yourself a good person? Yes. I'd consider myself a, a good moral person. I consider myself as a good person. Would you guys consider yourselves good moral people? Yeah. yeah. I would, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I consider myself a good moral person. I tried myself to be a good moral person according to the teachings of my religion. Uh, for the most part, I like to think so. Most of the time. Uh, would you consider yourself a good moral person? Yes, I do. Yes. I try to be a good person. I think I'm a good person. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. However, their answers changed drastically when compared to the Ten Commandments. Lied. Yeah, a lot. Used to. Um, uh, I've been a good liar and a bad liar both. I, I, I try not to be a bad liar a lot, though. So have you lied? I, I know I do lie. It's just... So what is it? What are you? A liar. Have you ever told a lie? Sure. What does that make you? A liar. <laughs> Never before has mankind faced so many questions, so much anxiety. Where is mankind headed? I used to believe in God. We believe that we are in the countdown to eternity now. I think a lot of times we're coming to the conclusion that there is no right or wrong. If ever there was a time when we need to be looking for the return of Jesus Christ, it is now.